So that's how I serrate it or Thank you uh, on it. So there we go. Out of four pieces. I don't know how much that is if you're counting. But I mean that's how much you should get. And then see this is still a little fat, so I'm gonna cut that down. So there we go. Another piece. Another piece. Let's see. So that's a lot of chicken there. Okay, so here we have our egg mixture, which is basically four egg yolks, salt and pepper. Then here you have the panko mixture, which is also seasoned with salt and pepper. And then you have the um, chicken, uh, uh, what was it, breasts that were uh, filleted um, for this katsu that we're making today now i'm going to show you what i like to do oh and over here we have an empty pan to for the the prepared uh katsu fillets so what i do is i do a double dip but the trick is the chicken is already wet so i dip with just water you know the the their the, their natural juices and i get it like that and come back and just really quickly, you know, you don't have to worry about covering, you know, just do your best. And you just keep going. Because you just, you know, necessarily just, just quick. Just move through this quickly. Our children are playing and I know they're hungry. So I know Spicy Boo Boo behind the camera is hungry too. And I'm hungry. We all hungry. That's right. So let's get some. Sorry, just grabbing in from everywhere. Just like that. Just real quick. And we're today our method, although if you're trying to cut calories, I would suggest baking it at 400 degrees for approximately um, 30, 25 to 35 minutes. Uh, we're going to bake it at the high, I mean, we're gonna fry it in our deep fryer at 375 degrees or whatever the max temperature is, is what we're gonna do. So there's the first coat. Uh, see if we can make this panko last. This is one box of panko, right? Plus, a, yeah, this is one box. So now we do the double dip. Okay, we're running a little egg mixture, so we'll stop the video here while I make extra sauce. But anyway, just do a quick with one egg. Should be plenty. Take that, take that. Double dip. This one's been done. Now, if you do have stuff left over and, you know, you're not happy with the way that they've been coated, then feel free to add, of course, 
Add as much coating as you want, but I assure you these will be bomb. All right. So now we're done with these. And you season that with them. Uh, these have all been seasoned the, 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 with, with uh, just simple salt and pepper and everything, the egg, salt, and pepper. It's the katsu sauce that will balance it out. On the katsu sauce, it will have a sweet barbecue tinge is what I'm aiming for. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kachu sauce. Uh, hello, uh, Polynesian uh, Kitchen. Blogspot. Com. Um, here we are making katsu 2020. Uh, the, earlier, you seen how we prepare the katsu. Spicy Boo Boo will uh, fry the katsu. You don't need to see that. I mean, that's obvious. Um, but basically, what we have here for the katsu sauce is uh, two and a half cups of water, rice wine vinegar. I'm going to use approximately uh, a quarter to half a cup, uh, soy sauce, uh, half to three quarters, um, uh, famous staves, because this is a spicy, uh, not spicy, but a barbecue, sweet barbecue um, terry sauce. So this I use about maybe half, and then sugar, I use about three quarter cup sugar and then brown sugar I use uh, a quarter so let's get started first let's add our water and we'll add our soju so let's just keep that going okay Tell the saturation by the color and then add the barbecue sauce famous staves in the first place congratulations you're the winner okay and then i add sugar almost ready hunter just relax give us half hour Last step in the sauce happens on the stove. I'm not going to show you that part, but that's just kind of where you you thicken it. And uh, I'm going to want a little bit more sauce here. Do we have ketchup on? Well, we have ketchup. I would add ketchup, but I don't want to waste it. And then can I get the um, the uh, what do you call those things where you stir it? Uh, now we have the whisk, whisking the sauce very well. You want to whisk it to make sure that the sugar is well integrated and, you know, the other sauces also. Now again, what's going to happen on the stove, the second part, which I'm not going to show you, is you literally just put it on, on, the, on the stove in a pot uh, and then you bring it to a boil. Then you add, you know, whatever thickener that you you choose, whether flour, rice flour, or even cornstarch, and then you just thicken the sauce. Last part is to taste it, and it's a winner. All right, that's a wrap.